So how are we doing guys and welcome, it's Kraken here. I hope you had a really good Christmas and a nice time off and ate yourself silly. I know that's certainly what I did over Christmas. Um, and now we're back to it. So I'm taking off from where we left you on the last episode and just building ourselves some slightly better tools. Now, the reason I'm doing this is to put up the durability of each of the tools. So I'm doing this so I don't have to use as many repair kits to keep our tools working. Now this one's nearly finished, so I'll be able to take that from there. Right, I've just taken the modifiers out, so we now put them back in. So these modifiers, just quickly show you, our block damage at the moment is 63. If I put these ones in, it's now gone to 67, and now gone to 72. This one here, the wood splitter, is really good for the fire axe because the wood splitter mod. Show me from there. How about in here? So the wood splitter mod will do 15% more damage against wood and obviously most of the time we're using it for either knocking out wooden blocks or chopping down trees. That's really useful. Same with the shovel, we have the Gravedigger mod. Oh, Graver. And this one does 15% more damage against dirt, so again, really helps you when you're um, when you're digging up the treasure or just trying to get the dirt. So I'm just going to burn these down here. I've got six minutes left. I'll actually take a tiny bit of wood out of there. There we go, now I'm going to quickly jump over towards the base. I'm taking a few of the last things. Ooh, got myself a nice little zombie there. Going to take a few things over there. We've got the shotgun shells, a few of the um, iron spikes, and some other arrows. And all of this stuff here we're going to take to the trader in the morning. So I don't think we're going to be able to spend much more time back at our little base over there because I think those zombies are going to end up knocking him down. So what have I got over here in my chest? Let's dump. Whoa! Woo! Well that certainly shocked me. So the zombies have respawned over here. Because I don't have my bed roll or a land claim block over here, they have respawned. So, have I got any stone on me? No. Please tell me I've got some in here. Yes, I have. Right. Get rid of them, get rid of the shotgun shells. I am definitely going to pick up... The AK-47 and the 7.62, right. Now, I don't know if there's going to be zombies inside, obviously. I've blocked up inside and if they wake up, that could cause us a couple of issues. So I'm going to make myself this land claim block, nice and easy to cheap, only five stone. So we haven't got much time of the morning or night time left. So I'm just going to quickly upgrade a few of these while we're here. Now I was going to start making the pit the other side, but I think I'm going to leave that straight away. And I think we're going to go and have a look at the mine as we are going to really need to start getting some resources together now. So we're just going to get a little bit of XP, use up some cobblestone, and get these bits done. So zombies definitely have given me a little bit of a scare. Oh, we've got a bit more here, a bit more wood here to do. I 
think if there was any inside, we would have woken them up by now. There we go, there's another oh, two pieces to do there. Those bits are all done. Now, I am going to upgrade these. Because the zombies can do these ones as well. The zombies will be able to jump over to here and try hitting. So we'll just make them a little bit stronger. We got these strong. Got these ones as concrete down here. And we've got concrete on this level here. So we will slowly do up these ones here now. It doesn't sound like there is anybody inside, but I am going to double check. Anybody awake in there? It does actually look like no there. The inside it actually looks like that stone. Oh, okay, well we've got some friends out here anyway. And we are doing well this morning. Hey Edgar. Any more of you out here for a stroll? So here we go, here's where our mines were. Now, we had iron and coal right next to each other here, and I'm pretty sure we had iron in this one here. So we're going to go back to this mine here and put it in the direction of those two that were just over there, and we should be able to get ourselves some nice bit of ores. Now, I find I personally really enjoy the mining in the game um, but it is a real marmite kind of thing some people love it some people don't so i'm not going to do too much over here but what i am going to do is take us all the way down and build ourselves a little little bit of a defense for it because we last thing we want is zombies falling down on top of our heads down here so i'm going to start doing a bit of that i'll probably put this into a time lapse and show you guys what we're going to be doing here. Here we go guys, you can kind of see what I'm trying to do here. Now there's so much iron down here, it's ridiculous. Um, I have just given myself dysentery though, from drinking normal water. And as you can see, doing this, 
doing this mining really kills your stamina and we are running very low on food so I'm going to do a little bit more work here it's got to nine o'clock now and then we're going to hit up the trader and get ourselves a quest and I believe we've got a quest to, to um, hand back in as well so just quickly show you what I'm doing here so I've made a path all the way from up here from the beginning and I'll be blocking a bit more of this off so they'll come down here just clearing out this little bit around here there we go just make it a bit easier for them so they don't try and hit on too much there we go Ooh, that's it get you out of the way Get you out of the way. There we go. So they come down to this area. The red flag is just in this direction. So we're going to have them walk over here and then we're going to make a little kill zone. As you can see, there is loads of iron down here. So I'm going to, we're going to come back and do this later on when we've got some more food. This is how we're going to get it started. As you can see, there's just iron absolutely everywhere. So we're going to knock out this iron here, head towards the other iron node and the coal, and we're going to build a little kill zone as soon as we get a little bit further down over here. So I am going to make a little floor for them like this, and then we're going to start knocking this iron out. A few more of these to upgrade. There we go. But I imagine by the time I've done all of this, I'm not even going to need any more iron because already that has got me over 12,000. So before I do leave, I will be stacking up the forge. Right, guys, that was extremely painful. We've got literally no stamina left whatsoever. Right, we're going to. forget to pick up my jukes I did notice I've left a pickaxe and a fire axe on here as well now let's get some red tea we are going to start making red tea as well right. let's quickly get some of these sorted We get a red tea done as well and our dysentery is just going to slowly go down but it will keep destroying our stamina in the process yeah, right shake your hand, but I bet you got hunting knife we already have a level two hunting knife we're going to take the antibiotics and what job has he got for us anything that close Level 2. Now I'm going to take the level 2 clear zombies over the level 1s. 1 because it's the closest and 2 because I still don't think we're fully equipped for level 3 yet. Now, when are you going to restock? Day 13. Oh, we've got an airdrop coming in. Day 13, so we've got 3 more days. So I'm going to buy some food off him straight away because we're doing very well for money. We're going to sell this Stumbaton to him and this chest armour we're going to sell to him. Uh, let's buy some sham. So here we go folks, before I'd come to the airdrop as basically it was on my way. Ooh, nice, right. So we've got ourselves a bit more food, we're going to scrap the gloves. And we're going to read that schematic, now dynamite can be very dangerous if you want to um, it's probably best to use for mining rather than um, against your zombies because it'll end up blowing up the building you're in if you want to see how much damage dynamite does do though if you check out my 
video on explosives, all the new explosives for Alpha 18, you'll see straight away how devastating dynamite can be. But let's get to this chest. We seem to be having a right time with these vultures at the moment. Right then. Quickly scrap those. We're going to go straight in. So straight up here on the roof. Wakey wakey guys. Let's not do anything silly. Bring them out here. So this is a clear so we can just... Oh what are you doing behind there? We haven't got time for you. Marble box. So if you want to stay safe, do the opposite of me. Actually make sure that the area is clear before you start looting things. Some bullets, nice. We've got loads of cement being made up back at the base. Right, let's get ourselves some more rotten flesh. Loads of brass. Right. Let's come down these stairs. Where are you trying to go? You're a bit confused, love. Hit you in the bum. Suitcase. Right, we're going to start scrapping some of this brass. Clear ourselves a little bit more room. Ooh, looks like we're just going to come straight through the wall, are we? Come on up again. We haven't got all day. There we go. Oh, we have somebody beating on something there. Uh, there we go. Give ourselves a bit more room. Ooh. Ooh, loot bag. Have a quick look at that in a minute. Sort your friend out first. Any books for us? Yep. We don't have a magnum yet, but hopefully one day we will. All right, Siri, go away. Any of these lootable? Yep, this one. Let's get a few chairs. Bit of soup. Ideal. A purse, bandage, whoa, there we go, killed her with one punch, a bit more soup, a bit of honey, ideal, we definitely need that, the way we're getting infected at the moment. Good stuff, right? We can scrap that, eat that, scrap that, scrap that. Ooh, 
Ooh, we've got a downstairs area. Let's just make sure everything up here is done. Suitcase. Trash can. Right. Here we go. Oh, there we go. We've got some flashing lights. Sounds right. Little cinema going on down here. There we go. Two skill points as well. Toilet. Ooh, that acid's nice. I hear a lot of zombies somewhere. Okay, so we've got a chemistry station over here. Before we go any further, I am going to repair that. Is that not anything I can chop up? No. I can see the yellow zombie up on the mini map, which usually means it's going to be the final area we go into. We've got a working chemistry station. Destroyed workbench with the schematic which we're going to sell if we have room for it. Right, let's read that. So we're now fully encumbered. Running out of room. Take that. Read that. Make cornbread. Take a bit of cloth. And we'll scrap the bullet casings for the brass. Right. Now. Where are you two? Oh, three of you. That's one head. Whoa. Drink of red tea. Now that has cleared this whole base, but I want to find the final loop. So we are being told to return back to the trailer. But where's the final loop? And here it is. I can still hear another zombie. It must have come from outside. What have we got here? More baseball bat parts. Right, scrap that, scrap that, eat that, eat that, scrap that, take those, we do already have some baseball parts. Ah, barbed wire mod, we do already have that. All right, I heard you. Right. Scrap that. I'm going to scrap the gloves. I'm going to scrap the chest armor. Right. What have we got down here? Working stiff. Oh. Some rebarb and an iron door. An iron door we can make, so we're going to scrap that. T 
two cans of sham. So I'm going to scrap that, take the food. By the looks of it, there's a fast, easy way to get down here. So there you go, if you ever need to come to this house and just want to quickly grab the loot, that little block there on the wall will show you exactly where the final loot is. So guys, this is where I'm going to leave you for today. Uh, sorry we haven't got as much done, but we did need to get that mine started. So now that we've got that done and we've got all those resources, we can really start working on the base. So in the next episode, I think that's what we're going to start doing, getting our home base sorted and get that horde base all ready for day 14. And then we can spend the last couple of days before the horde just going out here, getting as many resources as we can, as much ammo as we can, and keep going like that, really, so we can get ourselves ready for the day 14. Okay, um, as always, please keep those likes and those comments coming in. And we're going to catch you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.